Welcome back to Valar. We have a thrift store grab bag. Got it for five bucks. Uh, I got it because it has Dr. Doom in here. So I could care less about anything else in here. Uh, the one looks like a green goblin. The Doom is hard to see, but he's in there. So let's see what we got. For five bucks, we got Um, I don't know what this is. He has like a weird wrench attachment <laughs> kind of thing going on here. He's a, he's a handyman hero. You can fix uh, your bathroom up, I guess. I, don't, I have no idea who this is. So if you know, put it in the comments. Kind of looks like, I don't know, this kind of gear is like, what, C? Like, underwater, maybe, guy? I don't know. Might be missing the top of his helmet. So we have this guy. Handyman. Yeah, babe. <laughs> oh, no. Cyclops, your feet. Well, this Cyclops has had better days. Uh, he must have like an action that would do something. He, he was feet ejected. <laughs> so there's the Cyclops. Alright. Put him over here. Over here. Okay. Here's a green goblin. This actually looks... Uh, looks okay. His head moves. Well, I mean, you can tell it's Green Goblin. It's like the chainmail kind of thing going on here. The colors are good. But the figure is like really kind of a mess. I don't think he's going to stand up very well. It's like <laughs> some kind of hip issue, it looks like. Some kind of hand issue. Oh, no, some kind of action. So he probably threw pumpkin bombs like that. Or maybe he like sat down on something. His glider. Yeah, he has holes, so he probably has his glider with him. You get to throw the pumpkin bombs there. It's still lame when you have a character that can't stand up. Let's see what we can do. Can we make it happen here? Probably not. It's going to be a balancing act. So you probably could get him to stand. Look at that. <laughs> not much over the Cyclops. All right, <laughs> so worth my five bucks? No, not at all. This one's okay, I guess. Uh, no idea. This is terrible. All right, let's get rid of those guys. <laughs> the whole reason, the only reason I bought this, because it is hard to find Doctor Doom's in the wild. What's wrong with this gauntlet here? All right, so this looks okay. It's a little beat up. Uh, you can see it more on camera than you can off camera. Um, this one's got a cloak attached to it. That's good. So it looks like some kind of mechanism. It's something. I don't know if he shoots this gauntlet out. It's kind of silly. Well, this is, it could be a Doom bot, right? Face looks okay, though. And the armor looks all right. Uh, I didn't know his hand was kind of broken <coughs> right here. That sucks. Don't like that at all. I don't know if I can screw this back in. It's supposed to be like that. Can't really tell. So that's disappointing. All right. But don't look too bad. I'll put this back down. This hand's normal. Doesn't attach. Uh, doesn't have any peg holders here. No holes in the feet. Uh, he has pretty flat, so he probably stands pretty decently, I would think. Yeah. Stands easily. Looks pretty good standing up, actually. So, believe it or not, I'm a big Dr. Doom fan. 
So I am happy with this purchase for five bucks. I don't think it was on sale. So Doom, this Green Goblin, okay. And then it just goes to whoever this is. To uh, <laughs> this is randomly put in there, and it's poor, poor Cyclops. They had a lot of these Marvel figures that were kind of like uh, this series, I guess, and they all kind of were beat up. Um, I thought this one was okay. It was hard to see. I still really got it, I think, even though I saw this hand was like that, because it's not completely off, so it's not a deal breaker for me, but we can, who cares? Who cares about those guys? <laughs> yeah, Alright. Dr. Doom. And some scrubs. Well, this Doom is alright. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.